tonight. Two people are in police custody. Deputies arrested Tyler Amos today. He was on the run all day yesterday. Brandy Rumbold has been in custody since yesterday afternoon. Investigators say the two are accused of severely beating two men at their business in Perry Township, then went on a crime spree in three counties in Pennsylvania. Law enforcement also thinks another male was involved in all of this. 27 First News reporter Cameron O'Brien spent the day in Lawrence County to learn more about what happened, and she also got a copy of the police report. It's our top story tonight at 10. When I drove up to Cable Hardwoods this afternoon, the owner, his wife, and other family members were there. I talked with them, but they didn't want to talk on camera. The owner is out of the hospital. He says the other victim has been released too. Yesterday, they were both severely beaten and robbed by three people. It happened around 8.20 Saturday morning. The owner made an unplanned stop to his business, Cable Hardwoods, on Portsville Road. That's when state police say the owner noticed one of the doors to his shed was open. When he went to go and look, police say the owner was confronted by three armed people. The owner tried to escape, but the assailant shot at his vehicle and forced him into an office at gunpoint. That's when they began to beat him with a baseball bat and gun, kick and punch him. As that assault was happening, an 84-year-old family member came to the business to feed their cats. As he walked up to the building, police say he was confronted by 38-year-old Brandy Rombold at gunpoint. Rombold, along with Tyler Amos and another unknown male, robbed the 84-year-old and then beat him with a gun and baseball bat. The three then stole the owner's vehicle and fled the scene. The owner crawled through the woods to a nearby home where he got help and called 911. State police say the three attackers then switched cars and went on a day-long crime spree, stealing guns and cars in Beaver and Butler counties. Police have arrested two of the suspects in this crime. The third is still an unidentified male. In the newsroom, Cameron O'Brien, WKBN 27 First News.